my mother-in-law wanted to update some items for her dining room table and she was looking for a spring wreath for her door. So it gave me an opportunity to craft. I picked up small votive candles from Dollar Tree, but to create more impact, I thought it would be best to stack three individual votive candles together to make it taller and give it an impactful appearance. Basically, just using hot glue, I attached them together one by one, starting with the one that's more lavender down to the pink, giving it a gradient effect. I wanted to have some Easter eggs or eggs on the dining table. So my stepdaughter decided to craft some crochet eggs. You can find crochet egg patterns on the internet by just Googling the word crochet eggs and you'll find many options to try this if you are also a crochet crafter. Now for that wreath for the door, I picked up these items at Dollar Tree. They have a wide expanse of flowers and foliage as well as wreath bases. Of course, I've sped this up just to give you an idea of how I did my pattern. I like to start with the underlayment of items first, meaning underlaying the leaves and anything that goes behind the, the flowers as support and then building from the bottom of the wreath going up. You could put in as much flowers or you can put in less if you're more of a minimalist, but it will come out beautiful. Now let's look at the final results and staging. As you see, the wreath came out beautiful and it's already hung on the door. I added another small wreath to the center of the dining table and a lead crystal vase. Added this small print of a bunny. You could find this scented item at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use it as the filler for the vase instead of water because of the fact I'm actually using silk flowers or fake flowers. I purchased purple and yellow to go with the theme, starting with the yellow beads. I added one other yellow beads and then added the purple to the very top creating like another gradient look then I just entered my silk flowers and moved on to the rest of the staging I added gold chargers just to give it a little bit more pink excuse me a little bit more impact and then added my mother-in-law's china then look at this I used scrunchies as a napkin holder. You have to think differently sometimes. Those are from Dollar Tree. Then lastly, I added the candle holders from the Dollar Tree items and some glowing electronic candles. And this is the finished look. I've added the candle holders that we've made the crochet eggs, so wonderfully made by my stepdaughter. And you have a beautiful Easter spring look. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope you get creative and look at Dollar Tree items differently.